Yeah, this is definitely not normal. At Southern Oregon University, as well as colleges across the U.S., the COVID-19 pandemic has hit enrollment numbers hard. SOU hasn't released its official fall numbers, but spokesperson Joe Mosley says full-time student enrollment is down 2%. That's the average for public universities across the country, according to the National Student Clearinghouse Research Center. SOU retention is also down compared to its average, as some are choosing to defer due to the pandemic. But we did have several students who just didn't register for classes. We expect that you register. So but some colleges are seeing an increase in enrollment numbers. At Oregon Tech, freshman enrollment is up. Eric Johnson, the school's director of admissions, believes it's because of the nature of its specialized programs. And our ability, again, to preserve that kind of intimate educational experience, hands-on, project-based, lab, face-to-face -face interaction was critical to our enrollment success this fall. Johnson says the school's STEM-focused curriculum demands more hands-on learning, so adhering to state COVID guidelines is crucial. He believes that's paying off with their admission numbers. Uh, when we went out over in August and did a virtual panel with incoming, the incoming class and their parents, that made a huge difference and really helped them stay confident about their final choice. The university also has the benefit of being in a more rural area. According to the National Student Clearinghouse Research Center, colleges in less populated areas had higher enrollment rates this fall when compared to colleges near larger cities. We have been very fortunate to be off the I-5 corridor and among one of the first counties that reopened. The state's largest schools, Oregon State and the University of Oregon, saw even larger enrollment drops, both coming in around 2.5%. In Jackson County, Grace Smith, NBC5 News.